The Basics of Widgie Number 1 Welcome to Widgie, a service specifically designed for native project management. In the following videos, we'll give you tips and life hacks for organizing your project management processes, which will help you to avoid reorganization and achieve maximum productivity. And now we'll take a look at the basic Widgie toolkit. Widgie processes are organized using multi-format cards, lists, and connections. Lists define object categories or required actions. Connections are used to indicate the direction of the processes. And cards carry information and can consist of one or more blocks. Cards. To create a card, just double-click on any free area of the board. You can also use the Shift-Enter key combination. By default, a blank card is always created, so you won't know what it will be yet. Just type text into it, insert links and files, PDF and Google Docs, or links to other services, and the card will adapt to its content. To continue typing, just press Shift-Enter, and the next block will appear in the highlighted card. Or press Control-Enter, and a new card will appear next to the previous one. On the empty card are some quick actions. Here, you can write a voice and then transcribe it, turn your card into a checklist, create a sketch, or download files. Enter forward slash in the card and you'll see more formats available. For example, you can set a date. Or enter and and mention the person. And then you'll see special indicators above the card. Type a double slash and press enter to leave a comment that you can respond to. Using the up and down arrows, you can quickly switch between blocks of the highlighted card and using the Enter and Escape keys, you can enter and exit Edit mode for the selected block. To swap blocks or pull them out of the card, use the special drag zone. To select multiple cards, use the Shift key. A context menu will appear next to the selected objects with available actions. Lists To create a list, click the button in the bottom menu or use the L hotkey. You can also create a list from the context menu of a card group. Lists can be filled out both vertically and horizontally. Lists can also be nested within each other. Use this to create complex structures for storing data or managing processes. Connections To create a connection, select the card and pull on one of the four areas. The connections that appear can be attached to another object, or you can release it over a free area of the board and create a new object. In the context menu of the connections, you can set a short title, color, change nibs, and line styles. If you double-click a connection, you're quickly taken to the attached object. Use connections to guide your processes and establish dependency between objects. Cards, lists, and connections are the three basic widgie objects. In the following video, we'll talk about operations with these objects and additional tools.